Hi, welcome to Good Kind Yoga. I have a calisthenics based flow for you today. Please make sure you check with your physician before beginning any type of exercise program. Always take a moment and warm up your wrists, hands, fingers, ankles, feet, and toes as we wait for a heavy leap through these areas and we want, don't want anyone to have any injuries. You might want to give yourself a little bit of extra space today. We are taking ourselves off our mat a little bit as we move. I'll demonstrate the flow on one side before we begin so you can make yourself familiar with the pose band transitions that we will be utilizing. Our flow begins in a downward facing dog. From our downward facing dog, we rise up high on the toes, roll through the spine and step the shoulders over the wrist, finding a nice high plank. We draw our right hand to our left shoulder and then step that right hand out wide and then we pull our left hand to our left to our right shoulder and step the left hand out wide. As we step the left hand wide, we're going to pivot our right fingers and rotate our shoulder for an archer down. And then we're going to pull into our forearm, push across, back, step the left leg, and come to a half extended seated upright. Our half extended seated upright, we shift forward into a narrow runner's lunge. So you can use your hand if necessary and push off and come forward, or you can really Dig that right heel into the mat, pull forward, and come into your narrow runner's lunge. We're going to pivot to the left, toward the left shoulder, into an active squat. And we're going to continue pivoting through to the left foot to draw our right knee into our chest to Proud Warrior, hands in sword mudra. From our Proud Warrior, we're going to release the hands, take a fighting stance, and we're going to give ourselves a front kick, boom. And then we're going to back step the right leg, lift and chamber the left, and take a side kick with a block, and then step down into our horse stance or goddess. We're going to bring the pinky side fingers of the fingers together, and then we're going to rotate into the fists, rotate into the thumbs, and draw your energy down toward the mat, bring the tops of the fists into the mat. We're going to base our right hand close to our left foot, lower our right knee, and rotate. Let the left knee open and stretch. Bend the right knee and reach back for that foot and take a revolved low lunge stretch. From our revolved low lunge stretch, we're going to release. We're going to back step the left leg around the right and pivot into reverse plank. From our reverse plank, we're going to bend into the elbows, work those triceps to lower down, keep the belly strong, bring the right arm overhead, and roll over the right side to find prone. Draw the hands under the shoulders, and keep bringing that right leg back in a long back step to push yourself back up to seated upright. Again, we're going to bring the hands forward, Push into the right foot, back step the left leg, bring the right knee to the nose, lift up and back, three-legged down dog. Then take a rolling vinyasa, lower the right leg to meet the left. Pubic bone and navel, navel the spine, roll forward, shoulders past the wrist, lowering all the way down, draw the knees in, tops of the feet press from the mat, and we find our cobra roll. Pubic bone and navel, navel the spine, chin to chest. Upward facing dog. Chin to chest, reverse rolling wave. Back to downward facing dog, releasing one foot at a time. And that is our flow. We'll have some nice calisthenics drills mixed in for strengthening, balance, and coordination. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. If you feel comfortable, feel free to continue on with me in Seiza at the back third of your mat. Beginning in Seiza at the back third of your mat, allow your shoulders to soften down your back, find length through your spine, support through the belly, length through the crown of the head. Close your eyes and fix your gaze on a point in front of you. Allow your breath to be soft. Allow your warrior to remain still for this time. Allow your yogic nature to be your guide. 
utilizing the breath as you soften into your mat. guiding you to the stillness, you may notice thoughts that are popping in and out of your mind. Acknowledge them, but set them aside to be addressed later. Take note if you're needing to use accessory muscles, shrugging the shoulders up, pushing the sternum forward to find that flow into the inhale. See if you can soften the body and allow it to find a more natural, rhythmic breath. Take a moment and scan from the top of the head to the tips of the toes, taking note of any areas that are calling your attention. Allow your breath to go to these places and provide what is needed at this time. Perhaps it's softening or perhaps it's some stability. And as you continue to breathe, allow your senses to be fully awake and alert. This keeps you grounded to this moment in time releasing you from the pull of the future that is unpromised and the anchor of the past. As you continue to focus on your breath, slowly begin adding in some gentle head and neck movements, exploring the range of motion of the cervical spine. Taking your time through any areas that may feel as though they have a bit of restriction or stickiness. Giving yourself time and patience as you explore each movement. to explore not only the flexion and extension, but the spirals that transition across the body side to side. Remembering that what feels good to me may not be what your body needs, so feel free to move as you wish. four-point base, maybe through child pose or tabletop. Feeling free to begin adding some weight bearing through the shoulders, the hands, the wrists, the fingers. Exploring once again the different positions that feel good to you. Maybe even working back into the hips, the feet, the ankles, the knees, the lower back. Again, moving in whatever way feels good to your body. 
find what opens you and prepares you for your practice. As you continue to move and explore what's available to you, make sure you're paying attention to the small joints. We want to make sure that they get just as much love as the big joints, as we do put a lot of weight through them. As you feel called to begin adding in bigger movements, maybe moving toward a downward facing dog, draw yourself back into safe eye at the back third of the mat. Find length throughout the spine, within the crown of the head, and we'll bow into our practice together. Bringing our right hand to our mat, followed by the left index finger and thumb lightly touching as we bow <coughs> forward to honor our warrior spirit. Os. Rising up, bringing our right hand to our thigh, followed by our left. Right hand into our heart center, followed by our left in prayer. Bowing to honor our peaceful side, our yogic nature. Namaste. Release your palms down to through your spine. Keep the length in the spine. Draw the lower belly in as you bow forward. Reaching the right hand as far forward as you can, followed by the left parallel to it. Draw your chin to your chest, roll forward through the spine, stack the shoulders over the wrists, and pause here, gaze between the hands. If plant the right toes and extend the right knee, tuck the left toes and extend the left knee, finding your first high plank. Push into the shoulders, let the scapulas round across the back, chin to chest, coat to press. Roll back through the spine, and release one foot at a time to your downward facing dog. Lift the right leg, demi point the toe. Keep the front of the leg and the back of the leg nice and active, hips square. Curl the right heel in, rise up high on the left toe. Draw the right knee to the chest, rolling lunge, roll forward through the spine. And bring the right foot to the outside of the right hand gently. Face into the right foot and the hands. Unweight the left foot, demi point, curl it in, and float it gently to the outside of the left hand. Rolling the chest upward, but keeping the hips low and still active into your active prayer squat. Soften down into your prayer squat. Maybe explore the hips a little bit here. Maybe rotation or some deeper flexion. And find your way back to active base, the hands or fingertips, chest sinks low for the hips to roll high, press into the hands, press into the toes, and heel toe your feet between your hands, softening into your forward fold, releasing the head and shoulders, maybe bending the knees slightly. Roll to your halfway lift, and send the sternum forward as you soften down. Roll into your halfway lift. And send the sternum forward as you soften. Roll into your halfway lift. And send the sternum forward as you soften. Rolling all the way up each vertebrae, stacking on the one before it. Slowly making your way upright to mountain pose. Arms pull everything up and away from the body. Hands clasp, form your sword mudra. Lengthen through the spine, send the hips forward, and find your variation of your back. Rising up, releasing the hands, drawing the lower belly in, and then bowing forward. Softening. Maybe that gentle bend in the knees as you give yourself a gentle hug. Bending the knees to release the fold, face the hands, 
and step, slide, float your way back. Find your chaturanga. Lower all the way down. Draw the knees in, press the tops of the feet into the mat. Keep the elbows alongside the rib cage. Pubic bone to navel, navel to spine, chin to chest, curl roll. Upward facing dog. Chin to chest, cover hip press, roll back through the spine, hips nice and high. Release one foot at a time, downward facing dog. Rolling weight, rise up high on the toes. Roll forward, stack the shoulders over the wrists and soften the hips down toward the mat. Floating up dog. Chin to chest, cover hip press, reverse rolling weight. Back to downward facing dog, releasing one foot at a time. Left leg lifts, dummy point active through the front and back line of the leg. Hips are nice and square. Curl the left heel in, rise up high on the right toes. Draw the left knee to the chest and rolling lunge forward to gently place the left foot outside the left hand. Unweight the right leg, dummy point, curl it in and float it to the outside of the right hand. Rolling the chest upright, keeping the hips low but active for your active prayer squat. Facing the fingertips of the palms, chest sinks low for the hips to roll high, press into the hands, press into the toes, and heel toe your feet between your hands, maybe adding a gentle bend in the knees as you soften down into your forward fold. Roll into your halfway lift, and softening back down. Roll into your halfway lift. And softening back down. Roll into halfway lift. And softening back down. Rolling all the way up, letting the pelvis lead the way as you slowly find your way upright. Palms face forward, gaze forward, mountain pose. Pull up. Arms up and away from the body, clasp the hands overhead, index fingers point upward, sword mudra, find length through the spine, send your hips forward, your variation of your back bend. Rising up, releasing the hands, draw the lower belly in and pull forward. Keep the tension through the arms as you lower and then soften into your fold, maybe giving yourself a little hug, maybe gently bending the knees. Bend the knees, release the arms, base the hands on the floor, and step, slide, float your way back, find your chaturanga. Lower all the way down. Knees draw in, tops of the feet press into the mat, pubic bone to navel, navel to the spine, chin to chest, cobra roll. Upward facing dog. Chin to chest, cover hip press, reverse rolling weight. Back to downward facing dog. Hips are high, staying on the toes as long as possible. Releasing one foot at a time to your downward facing dog. Remembering to let your breath be your guide. Rolling weight, rise up high on your toes. Roll forward, stack the shoulders over the wrists and soften the hips down the mat, floating up dog. Chin to chest, cobra hip press, roll it back through the spine, downward facing dog. Choose your own adventure here, another rolling lunge, a floating frog, a float to an inversion and lower through floating frog to find your way into your active prayer squat. Whatever is in your practice is best for you today. So rise up high on your toes, Load your active squat and find your way forward. Find your way into your active prayer. Fingertips or palms, find the mat. The chest sinks low and the hips roll high. Press into the hands, press into the toes. Heel toe or maybe slide or float your feet between your hands. 
soft and easy to fold. Maybe that gentle bend in the knees to release the hamstrings in the lower back. Roll into your halfway lift. And soften back down. Roll into your halfway lift. And soften back down. Roll into your halfway lift. And soften back down. Rolling all the way up. Staying heavy through the head and shoulders until they stack over the hips. Palms forward, head lifts, not pose. Arms pull up and away from the body. Hands clasp overhead to find solar mudra. Find length through the spine, send the hips forward and find your variation of your back. Rising up to release the hands, press the balls away, draw the water bone in, and fold forward. Soften into your forward fold. Maybe that gentle bend in the knees to release the hamstrings and lower back, maybe finding a little bit more closure between the chest and thighs. Releasing your fold by bending the knees deeply, base the hands, step, slide, float your way back. Find your chaturanga. Lower all the way down. Knees draw in, pubs the feet crossing the back. Pubic bone to navel, navel to spine, chin to chest, cobra roll. Upward facing dog. Chin to chest, cobra hip press, roll it back through the spine. To your downward facing dog, releasing the one foot at a time. And we begin our flow. I'm going to turn toward the front of the mat for this first drill so that you can see the pivot in my shoulder for the archer. So we're going to pivot for you. And we rise up high on the toes. Roll forward through the spine and stack the shoulders over the wrist, pausing in our high plank. We're going to reach our right hand toward our left shoulder and step our right hand wide. And we're just going to work on pivoting our left hand. And then we're going to pivot our left hand back, step back in, and bring our right hand to our shoulder. Step the right hand out, pivot, and bring it back to the left. Step the hand out and pivot and bring it back to the left. Step the right hand out, pivot the left shoulder and bring it back to the left. And we're gonna lower all the way down this time. Step the right hand out, pivot the left, keep the right elbow in nice and tight, lower down. And we're going to slide across. You can slide on your belly and step the right hand back in, pressing back up. Plank. And we're going to do it on the left side. Left hand to the right shoulder. Step the left hand out. Pivot the right shoulder. And bring it back. Bring the left hand to the right shoulder. Step the left hand out. Pivot the right shoulder. Bring it back. Tapping the shoulder, the hand to the shoulder. Left hand reaches. Pivot. And bring it back in. And left hand reaches and we pivot and we bring it back in. And this last one we lower all the way down. Step it out, pivot, keep the arm in tight as you lower, lower, lower. And then we pull across. We're pulling across to step back into plank and roll back to downward facing dog. Those are nice and strong and they take work, so don't worry if it was too difficult to lower. You can feel free when we do it during the flow to lower your knees and take it in a bent knee lower. It's perfectly fine to do. I'm gonna turn back and we will continue on, beginning in our downward facing dog. In our downward facing dog, we rise up high on the toes, roll forward through the spine, stack the shoulders over the wrists, high plank, 
right hand taps to left shoulder and we step the right hand out and we bring our left hand into our right shoulder and step the left hand out. We're going to pivot our right hand, lower down through our archer, pull across to the right, back step the left leg and come in to seated upright. In our seated upright, we're just gonna do a few leg lifts here. So we're gonna keep the right leg nice and tight, length through the spine, basing the hands, and lift the right leg and lower. Two and lower, three and lower, four and lower, five and lower. We're going to pivot at the right hand, bring the left foot around the right, pivot back to plank, and roll back to downward facing dog. Left side, rise up high on the toes, roll forward, find your high plank, stack the shoulders over the wrists. The left hand taps into the left shoulder, and we step it wide, shifting to the left, the right hand steps into the right shoulder, and we step it out, pivot the left hand, lower down through your archer. Bring it across, pressing into back, step the right leg this time, pivoting to the back of the mat to seat it upright. Seat it upright, leg through the spine. Left leg is nice and stable, and we're going to lift and lower two and lower, three, and lower, four, and lower, five, and lower, pivoting the left hand to forward, step the right leg around the left, pivoting into plank, to roll back to our downward facing dog. Let's take a rolling vinyasa just to give ourselves a little break here, rise up high on the toes, roll forward, lower down through your chaturanga, draw your knees in, and take a little cobra roll. Upward facing. Chin to chest, roll it back downward facing. From our downward facing dog, we rise up high on the toes. We roll forward. Stacking our shoulders over our wrists, we find our high plank. Right hand to the left shoulder. And we step our right hand wide, shift out of the right shoulder, left hand into the right shoulder, step the left arm wide, pivot the right hand, pivot that shoulder, lower down. Pull across, again, you can stay on your belly and pull across, you can pull into your forearm, or you can pull across, pushing into the arm, back step, seated upright. We're coming into a narrow runner's lunge now, so you dig the right heel into the mat, you can use your hands to push forward, or you can just do it freehand, bring the arms forward, pull, base the hands at the right foot, and we want to shift here into um, the hands and the left toes. Gaze is in front of the right toe, and you're gonna bring your right knee into your chest and kick it out, and bring it into your chest and kick it out. Three, and out, work the glute, four, and out, five, and out, and we step forward back into our narrow runner's lunge, and we're going to pivot over the left shoulder through a horse stance to pivot back into our left foot, facing our hands to step back into our downward facing dog. I'm gonna move over so that I stay in frame for you. Downward facing dog. Rise up high on the toes, roll forward, stack the shoulders over the wrists, Finding your high plank. Left hand to right shoulder, and we step out wide, shifting into the left arm, right hand to left shoulder. Step out wide, pivot the left hand, pivot the shoulder, lower down through your arch, pull it across, back step the right leg, pivot to your half extended, seated upright. Again, you can use your hands, or you can just go freehand, digging the left heel into the mat to shift forward, Facing the hands along the left foot and the right toes for your runner's lunge. Gaze is just in front of the left toes. Pull that left foot in and extend it out back. Draw it into your chest and extend it out. Three, and extend it out. Four, and extend it out. Five, and extend it out. Step that foot back into the runner's lunge position. We're pivoting to the right through your horse stance. 
to face your hands <coughs> around the right foot, to step back into your downward facing dog. A little rolling vinyasa here, high on the toes, roll forward, lower down through your chaturanga. Knees draw in, cobra roll. Upward facing dog. Chin to chest, roll it back, downward facing dog. Stay on those toes as long as you can, get those hips nice and high. Releasing one foot at a time. Never be afraid to adjust yourself on your mat if something doesn't feel right. Rising up high on the toes, we roll forward through the spine, stacking the shoulders over the wrist. Right hand to left shoulder, and we step the right arm wide, shifting into the right arm. Left hand to right shoulder, and we step the left arm wide, pivoting into the right shoulder as we lower down, pulling across to our back step to find our seated half extended upright position. Pulling forward to find our narrow runner's lunge, and we pivot to the left. This time coming into the left leg to draw our right knee into our chest, finding our sword mudra for our proud warrior. Release the hands into a fighting stance, and we're just going to do a few front kicks here. So, demi point the toes, and find your target. Snap that leg forward and recoil. Two, three, four, forceful exhale, five, and we're going to lower down, bending into the left knee, facing the hands. Just step the left leg up and back to a three-legged down dog. Enjoy a little open hip stretch here. I like that stretch through the side body after the archers. Coming back into three-legged. Lowering left to meet right, downward facing dog. Rising up high on the toes, rolling forward through the spine. Finding your high plank, left hand to right shoulder, and we step it wide, shifting the left, right hand to left shoulder, and we step it way right, pivoting the left finger to lower down through your archer, to pull across, back stepping the right leg to your half extended seated upright. Digging into the left heel to shift forward, into your narrows runner's lunge. We're going to pivot over the right shoulder through that little horse stance, bringing ourselves into our right leg to rise up left knee into the chest, proud warrior. And our proud warrior releasing to a fighting guard, demi point the foot, and we have a few front kicks. We kick and recoil. Two, three, four, five, and we bend into the right knee, back step the left, right knee to nose to lift up and back through that reverse rolling lunge, and extend into three-legged. Allow yourself that nice little open hip stretch. Squaring back to your three-legged, and back to your downward facing dog. Rising up high on the toes, rolling forward through the spine. Finding your high plank. Right hand taps left shoulder and steps wide, shifting into the right arm. Left hand taps right shoulder and steps wide. We pivot the right hand and shoulder and we lower down through our archer. Pull across through our archer slide, the back step into our half extended seated upright. Drawing ourselves forward to our narrow runner's lunge. Pivoting to the left, all the way until we can draw the right knee into the chest, into our proud warrior. Fighting guard with the hands and dummy point through the toe as you front kick, snap, recoil, back step into a back stance. So your weight is into your right leg. And we're going to recoil the left leg into chain breath, and you're going to take a side kick. So you're going to kick, flex the foot, extend the arm, and recoil. Kick and recoil. I feel like I'm out of frame. My apologies. I'm going to 
kick and recoil. Whew. And I'm a little off balance, so sorry. Chamber, kick, recoil, kick, recoil, kick, recoil, and step down into your horse stance with your hands and fists, forearms sealed together, pinky side of the hands together. We're going to allow ourselves to pivot over our left knee. Face the hands, draw the left knee into the nose, look up and back, three-legged. And left lowers to meet right, downward facing dog. Again, feel free to adjust on your mat whenever you feel necessary. Rise up high on the toes, roll forward through the spine, stack the shoulders over the wrists, find your high plank. Left hand taps right shoulder and steps way out wide. Right hand taps left shoulder, steps way out wide. We turn the left hand and turn into the shoulder as you lower down, pulling across to back step into your half extended seated upright. Drawing into the left heel to shift forward, narrow runner's lunge. Pivoting over the right shoulder, into the right leg, rising up, left knee into the chest, proud warrior. Hands change to a fighting guard. Front kick, recoil. Back step into a back stance. Shift into the right left leg. Chamber the right. And kick and recoil. Two and recoil. Three and recoil. Four and recoil. Five and recoil. Step down into your goddess. So I've got my hands high so you can see them. Forearms are sealed together, pinky side of the fist is together, and they're at chest height. <coughs> Pivoting over my right leg, facing my hands to bring my right knee into my nose, reverse rolling lunge, back to my three-legged down dog, and back to downward facing. A little rolling vinyasa here, rise up behind the toes, roll forward, lower all the way down. Knees draw in, cobra roll, upward facing, chin to chest, roll it back, downward facing, releasing one foot at a time, rising up high the toes, roll forward to find your high plank, right hand taps left shoulder, and we step way, way out, Left hand taps right shoulder, and we step way out, pivoting the right hand in the shoulder as you lower down. Pulling across, back stepping the left leg, pivoting to find your half extended seated upright. Drawing into the right heel again, it's okay to use your hands to help you get forward, finding your narrow runner's lunge. Pivoting into the left shoulder as you turn, putting your weight into your left leg to draw your right knee to your chest, hands in sword mudra, proud warrior. Release the hands, find your fighting guard, and front kick, kick, recoil, back step into your back stance. Left leg draws into chamber. We extend, bring it back, step into our horse stance, pinky sides and forearms together. And we're going to rotate the knuckles together so your hands are abducted, pushing the knuckles together here. Find that force. Roll the sun sides of the fist together. And as you do, you're going to push down, utilizing strength to lower the knuckles all the way to the floor. And as you draw them up, rotate the knuckle sides together, rotate the pinky sides together, finding that guard. Rolling the knuckles, thumb sides together, pushing down, lowering knuckles to the mat to roll back up to your guard. Rolling down, pushing, utilizing that strength and bringing it back up. And this time we're going to rotate down, pushing, and we're going to pivot to bring the right knee down, base the right hand, 
Allow the left knee to open to the side. Bend into the right leg. Reach for the right leg. And take that nice, gentle, twisted lunge. Play with your lunge. Maybe you want to twist deeper. Maybe you don't want to twist as deep. Completely up to you. Maybe you want to roll into your hip more. Again, whatever feels good to you. And release your bind. Face your hands. Left knee into the nose to lift up and back, three-legged down dog. And allow yourself that gentle open hip stretch if you'd like it. Bringing yourself back square, demi point through the toe, and lower the left foot to meet the right. Again, adjust anywhere you need to be on your mat at any time. Rising up high on your toes, we roll forward through the spine. High plank, and left hand taps right shoulder, and we step it out right, swift, shifting into the left arm, right hand steps in, and we shift to the right, pivot the left hand and shoulder as you lower down. Pulling yourself across to back step, pushing into the hands to find your half extended seated upright. Using the hands if you need to, or pulling into the left heel to draw yourself forward into that narrow runner's lunge. Pivoting over the right shoulder until you're all the way facing the front of the mat once again to draw the left knee into the chest, proud warrior. Changing to that fighting guard with the hands for your front kick, back step, back stance. Chamber the left leg, right leg, whoops, sorry about that. And we extend, bring it back in, lower down to our horse stance. Kinky sides of the fist facing each other. Roll the knuckles together, roll the thumbs together. Tension through the arms as you push down toward the mat. Draw that lower belly in. Find the mat, roll back up, find your guard. Roll the fist down, tension in the arms. Push as you lower and release it back up. Rolling down to push as you lower and bring it back up. Rolling. Pushing tension in the arms. Feeling those legs work for you. And last one, push down. Pivot into the right knee, lower the left. Base the left hand, allow the right leg to open. Reach back for the left knee and find your twisted lunge. Again, take time to explore here. Maybe you want to open more, maybe you want to twist more. Do what feels good to you. back to center. Frame the right foot, tucking the left toes. Reverse rolling lunge, right knee to nose. Lift up and back, three-legged down dog. And allow yourself that nice open hip stretch. Squaring back to your three-legged down dog and back to downward face. Rising up high on the toes, rolling forward, stacking the shoulders over the wrists, high plank. Right hand taps the left shoulder, and we shift wide, shifting into the right hand. Left hand taps the right shoulder, and we step wide, pivoting the right hand out, lowering down. Whoops. Pulling across, back stepping the left leg, pivoting to find our half extended seated upright. Shifting, pulling into the right heel, facing for that narrow runner's lunge. Pivoting over the left shoulder all the way until we draw the right knee to the chest. Proud warrior. Release your sword mudra, fighting guard. And we have our front kick, and we back stance. Shift into the right leg, chamber, extend. We're not doing this as a kick so much as a balance exercise here. Bringing it down to our horse stance. 
pinky sides of the fist together. Roll through the knuckles, roll the thumb sides together. Pushing down, tension in the arms, lower belly's drawing in until you hold all the way to touch the mat. Face the right hand close to the left foot. Pivot the right knee down. Let the left foot open. Reach back for that revolved lunge. Pivot the left fingers towards the back of the mat. Allow the right leg to release. Back step, keeping the left foot on the floor all the way around the right to lift into your reverse plank. If you need to adjust, make some adjustments here. Draw the lower belly in, and we're going to do some tricep dips. Dip down, try to keep the belly nice and tight, and lift. Two, and lift. Three, and lift. Four, and lift. Five, and lift. Lowering all the way down. We're going to let the right arm slide out, rolling through the right side body to come into prone, drawing the right hand under the shoulder and the left. Now, with the right leg, we're going to take a long back step, so we're going to let it come up. We're going to long back step to the left side toward the hip, and then bring it back down. Long back step keeping the chest forward as much as possible, and bring it back down. And long back step, and back in. Long back step, and back in. And long back step, and back down. Draw your knees in, cobra roll. Upward facing. Chin to chest, roll it back downward facing. Rising up high on the toes, roll forward, stack the shoulders over the wrist, high plank. Left hand taps right shoulder, and we step wide, shifting into the left shoulder. Right hand taps left shoulder, and we step wide, and we pivot the left hand. Right arms close to the body as we lower down, pulling across to back step the right leg, pivoting into your half extended seated upright. Pulling yourselves forward to find that narrow runner's lunge, pivoting over the right shoulder, coming into the right leg, finding your sword of mudra as you draw the right left leg into the chest, proud warrior. Fighting stance with the arms as you Front kick back, stepping into your back stance. Shifting into the left leg, chain to the right. And again, this is more of a balance exercise as you extend open. Bringing it back down to your horse stance. Pinky sides and forearms together. Lower belly is drawn in. Roll through the knuckles, through the thumb side of the fist. Pushing down, drawing the belly in as your fists find the mat. Draw the left hand close to the right foot. Lower the left knee. Allow the right leg to open. Reach back for the right leg for your twisted lunge. You're going to allow the left fingers to pivot back. Release the right foot. Back step, keeping the left foot on the ground. Right foot on the ground too. As you back step into your reverse plank. And we have a few tricep dips again. Draw the lower belly in. And dip. And lift. Two. And lift. Three. And lift. Four. And lift. Five. And lift. And we're lowering down to allow our left arm to extend out. Roll into prone. Drawing both hands under the chest. The left leg long back steps. So we're firm through the right toes. Left leg lifts. And we step back toward the right hip, shoulder, arm. Again, the arms are bent in. And then we bring it back. Lift and long back step. And bring it back. 
lift and long back step and bring it back. Lift and long back step and bring it back. And lift and long back step and bring it back. Prone. Setting up for our cobra roll. Draw the knees in. Pubic bone, navel, navel, spine, chin, chest, upward facing dog. Chin to chest, reverse. Back to downward facing dog. Releasing one foot at a time. Rising up high in the toes, we roll forward through the spine, stacking the shoulders over the spine in our high plank. Right hand taps off the shoulder, and we step way wide, shifting into the right shoulder. Left hand taps right shoulder, and we shift way wide, pivoting the right hand to lower down, pulling across, back stepping the left leg to pivot into your half extended seated upright. And we shift forward, find our narrow runner's lunge. Pivoting to the left until you're facing the front of the mat once again, drawing yourself into your proud warrior. Hands in fighting stance, front kick. Back step into back stance, shift into the right leg, chamber and extend open. Lowering into horse stance, pinky sides and forearms together. Rotate through the knuckles and push all the way down. Base the right hand close to the left foot. Lower the right knee and take that open twisted lunge. Release the foot, pivot the right finger and Back step the left foot around the right to come into your reverse plank. Lowering down to extend the right arm up as you roll forward. Draw the hands under the shoulders as you come to prone. Right leg continues that long back step, pushing into the arm to once again find half extended seated upright. We're going to base the hands Back step the left leg, right knee to nose to lift up and back three-legged down dog. Right leg lowers to meet left, downward facing. Rise up high on the toes, roll forward, lowering down for your cobra roll. Drawing your knees in, find your cobra roll to your upward facing dog. Chin to chest, reverse rolling wave, back to downward facing. We rise up high on the toes, we roll forward to our high plank. Our left hand taps our right shoulder, and we step wide, shifting into the left shoulder. Right hand taps the left shoulder, shifting to pivot to lower down. Drawing ourselves across to back step to our half extended seated upright. Shifting forward to our narrow runner's lunge. Pivoting to the right until we're into the right foot, drawing ourselves in to our proud warrior. Hands come into a fighting guard. Front kick to back step into a back stance. Shifting into the left leg to chamber the right and open into that balance. Lowering into your horse stance, pinky sides of the fists together, lower belly's drawn in. Roll through the knuckles into the thumb sides of the fists and push down, utilize the tension in the body. Hands come all the way down. And we pivot into the right, lowering the left knee, reaching back to the left foot with the right hand that open stretch. And we're going to release, pivoting the left hand to the back, step the right leg all the way around to your reverse plank. Lowering down. Letting the left 
Upper release to roll into prone, drawing both hands under the shoulder to continue that long back step of the left leg. Coming into your half extended seated upright, shifting forward to step the right leg back, left knee to mat, flip up and back, three legged down dog. Left leg lowers to meet right, downward facing. Rolling vinyasa high on the toes, rolling forward, lowering down, knees draw in, cobra on. Upward facing, shin to chest, reverse rolling leg, back to downward facing. And now that we have the full flow, we'll go through one time on each side, and then we'll cool it down. Rise up high on the toes, roll forward, stack the shoulders over the wrist, high plank. Tap right hand to left shoulder, step the right hand wide, shift into the right shoulder, left hand to right shoulder, step the left hand wide, pivot the fingers and the shoulder as you lower down. Pull across, back step, half extended seated upright, shifts forward into your runner's lunge. As we pivot to the left, we draw ourselves up into our proud warrior, release to fighting stance, kick, step back into your back stance, chamber for your balance, extend into it, bring it down, or stance, rotate through the fist, tension in the arms as you push down, pivoting to find that low lunge, twist. Pivoting the right fingers as you back step the left leg to find your reverse plank. Lowering down. Releasing the right arm to roll through prune. Draw the hands under the shoulders. Long back step of the right leg as you push into the arms. Finding your half extended seated upright. Shifting forward. Drawing the left knee into the nose to step it back. Right knee into the nose. Reverse rolling lunge into your downward facing. Right leg lowers to meet left. Downward facing. Roll forward. High plank. Left hand taps in the shoulder. And we step right wide, shifting into the left arm. Right hand taps, taps in. Stepping wide, pivoting the left arm and shoulder as you lower down to push yourself across. Back stepping into your half extended. Seated upright, shifting forward into your narrow runner's lunge. Pivoting to the right, drawing yourself in to your proud warrior. Fighting stance, we front kick and come into back stance. Shift into our right, left leg, chamber the right and find your balance. Extending open, shifting down into your core stance. Pinky side, seal together, roll through your fists and the thumb, push down, draw that lower belly in, knuckles find the mat. Pivot the right hand toward the left foot, lower the right knee, and take your twisted low lunge. Continue to pivot the right fingers as you release the left foot, back step the left leg into your reverse plank. Lower down through the elbows, releasing yourself over to a long back step, pushing into the shoulders to shift forward, extending back into your three-legged down dog, lowering to your downward facing, rolling vinyasa high on the toes, roll forward, lowering down through your chaturanga, Knees draw in, cobra roll. Upward facing, chin to chest, reverse rolling leg, back to downward facing. Lower your knees to the mat, soften the tops of the feet down, and take a child pose. Roll up into cat. Soften into cow. 
Crawl into cat. Soften into pal. Slide the right arm under the left for a little thread the needle or revolved puppy. And back step, shifting into your hip and knee to roll all the way to bridge. Roll down through your bridge. And roll back up. Roll down through your bridge. And roll back up. Roll down and roll back into your threaded needle by extending the right arm out, pivoting to find your threaded needle to roll back up to cat. Soften cow. Left arm under right for your thread the needle or revolved puppy, whichever you prefer. Continuing to pivot over to find your bridge. Roll down through your bridge. And roll back up. Roll down through your bridge. And roll back up. Roll down through your bridge. And roll back up. And we'll roll down, releasing the left arm back across the body to pivot back over into the threaded needle position, the large puppy, to roll back up to your tabletop. Passing in your hands to step through or sit through whatever works best for you to find seated upright. Find your seat upright and roll down through your spine. Draw your heels in comfortably. I like to bring my arms overhead and allow your knees to lower gently toward the left, maybe look to the right. Bring everything back up to center and lowering the knees to the right, maybe looking to the left. Bringing you back up to center. Softening the legs down and away from the body. Releasing the arms alongside the body. Allow the feet to fall open. Allow yourself to feel that nice hollowness in the lower belly and the pelvis. Feel it fully and completely release as you soften down into your mat. Once again, allowing your warrior spirit to sit in peace and your yogic nature to shine forth. stillness of both the body and the mind. And when you feel you are fully and completely released down to your mat, your breath has returned normal. You no longer feel as though you're holding any residual tension. Give yourself a full body stretch, arms overhead, legs and down away from the body. And bring yourself back up in the seiza at the back part of your mat. And we will bow out of our practice together bringing our right hand to the mat, followed by the left index finger and thumb lightly touching as we bow forward, 
honoring the fire in our belly, our warrior spirit who carries us and protects us throughout our path. Os. Rising up. Bringing our right hand to our thigh, followed by our left. Right hand into our heart center, followed by our left in prayer. Bowing to honor the light and love in each of us that shines brightly. Namaste.